Hi skaters, I'm Sonic. And I'm Greg. And we're here with InMove Skates in South Beach, Miami. Today, we're gonna to show you some more slalom moves, starting with the Nelson, then the back Nelson, and then we'll combine the two into a move that we call the Mega. So, let's get started. So Greg here will demonstrate the first progression to learning the Nelson. He's gonna move from one V position into another V position. So he'll demonstrate it here first, and then he'll go back. To make it easier, if you have a little chalk, you can draw it on the ground. So there's the first V, and there's the second V. Notice that they're perpendicular to each other. So now when Greg demonstrates this again, you can see that he's moving his feet from one V into the other, and back. Now you'll notice, in the case of this V, his left leg stays on the ground. The right leg comes off the ground. So, let's demonstrate again. There and back. So practice that a few times. So now that you've got the first part down with lots of practice, we're going to move into the next part of this. So the next part is to do a small cross. So as Greg here will demonstrate, you do a little cross and come around this way. And Greg will step back into place and demonstrate again. So the left foot stays on the ground and the right foot comes up once again. Notice it's the same foot that stays on the ground and the same foot that comes up from the first move. One more time. Great. You might notice that Greg ended up in a familiar position, and it's another V. It's in this place. Watch Greg as he does the move again. So we have our first V, and then we go into the second V, and now we go into the next V, which is identical to the first V. From there, you can repeat the move again, and again. And we're back in our starting position. So well, let's talk about the other body positioning besides the feet. So you'll notice here, Greg's always going to be looking down the line of cones no matter what position he's in. But based on whatever V is he's in, he's going to be in a different place with his hips. So here his hips are facing forward. But now when he moves into the next part of the move, his head's still facing this way down the line of cones, but you notice his hips are pointed that way. Now when he moves into the next part of the move, he's back in the original position, his hips are facing forward. So keep that in mind as you practice your moves. It might be a lot of work at first, but it'll be worth it and you'll get a very good looking Nelson. Now that you've got the forward Nelson down, how about we try the back Nelson? The back Nelson is like the forward Nelson, except you go backwards. So let's start again with some progressions in V-step. So, as Greg will demonstrate, we start in one V-step, facing outward, and we move into another one. And now you face backwards in the direction that you're going in. As I demonstrate again, go from one V into the other. First V into the other. And we're gonna draw out the Vs over here. So the first one you have is that way, facing that way. And since we're going into a back Nelson, the other one's facing backwards. As Greg will demonstrate, we go from the first V backwards into the second V. You notice on this one, Greg keeps his right leg on the ground the entire time and he picks up his left leg. So he'll go again, right leg stays on the ground, left leg comes up for this side of the Nelson. So as you've probably guessed, Greg has to move into another V for the next step. So what does it look like? Let's see Greg demonstrate. Now I notice the position he's in is identical to the first V. So let's draw it out over here. You'll notice it's the same V we started over here. So as Greg moves from the second part into the third part, it's another cross. Notice that he also keeps his right leg on the ground and he picks up his left leg. So as I'll demonstrate again, he starts from here 
and he goes this way. It's a backwards motion and it might be a little tricky, but give it a few tries. Now that you got the back Nelson, let's combine it with the front Nelson. We call this move the Mega. So, how do we combine the two? Where's the transition? Well, if you notice, the back Nelson and the front Nelson share the same move or position where you're standing to the side. So, if you're standing to the side, you can do a move of the front Nelson. Now you're standing forward and you continue with the front Nelson and you're in the side. But now, if you switch it into the backwards mode, now you're in facing backwards, that's the back Nelson. And you go again, another move of the back Nelson, and you're facing to the side. So from there, you could do two of the front Nelson, two of the back Nelson, two of the front Nelson, two of the back Nelson. The transition point is when you face to the side. A couple of details to help you with this move, because it could get lost in the process. When Greg does the front Nelson on this side, you'll notice his left foot stays on the ground and his right foot comes up. And he goes into the second part of the front Nelson, the left foot still stays on the ground and the right foot comes up. But when he moves into the back Nelson, his right foot stays on the ground, his left foot comes up and he goes into the second part of the back Nelson. Again, same leg is down, other leg comes up. So keep that in mind as you do your Nelson. Thanks for watching. For more videos, check out InMoveSkates.com.